Alright, alright, it's back. Just like I said, you get your yandere today. Don't, don't attack me. <laughs> What's going on guys, my name is Sinkara and welcome back to Kill or Love. Let's pick this right off. What happened last time? Oh, last time we burnt Grace's stuff. No! Anyway. Jack? Yes, Anna? Chapter 6. Changed. Changed. That sounds interesting. I'm going to work. Aren't you going to say bye? Oh. Bye, Anna. Well, that's, yeah. <laughs> and a goodbye kiss? We kissed. Anna placed a hand on my forehead. Are you okay? You might have a fever. I, c I can give you something for that. I smiled. I'm okay. It's just... What is it? Trouble? You can tell me anything. Um, do you know that sandwich shop? Which one? Next to the... where I... you know, where, where I did the thing. Next to the store? Oh, right, 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 where he worked. I nodded. So he must still miss Grace if he's reacting like that. Ooh, good, good, good. You want a sandwich from there? Yeah, if that's okay. Well, there is always a huge line there. Please, Anna. It would mean a lot to me. <laughs> oh, how can I resist? Of course, darling. I'll get you anything. What kind of sandwich do you want? Anything you pick. Hmm. I'll get you something light. You're not getting much exercise. I don't want you to get fat. Wow. Alright, then. I'm not gonna get fat off a single sandwich. <laughs> Is that alright? Yep. Well, I mean, as long as he's fine with it. Great. And don't forget, your remembering session. Oh right, I'm remembering things for an hour every day now. You've been doing those, right? Yeah. And? I frowned and shook my head. Nothing yet? Oh well. It's not even been two weeks yet. You'll get there soon, I'm sure you will. Yeah, I will. Anna pinched my cheek, kissed me again, and left. Oh, that's sweet. And I went and threw up in the toilet. Am I okay? Oh gosh. I brushed my teeth and washed my mouth three times over. I can't... I can't go on like this. I couldn't keep living here. Why, do you remember Grace? Is my girl coming back? I waited ten minutes until I was sure Anna was gone. Then I pulled back the heavy curtains. Oh wait, Grace did actually leave that note before we decided. Hmm. Down on the street, there was a single person looking sad and abandoned. Grace? I waved at her. She looked up, nodded, and walked into the building. What? <gasps> oh, sorry, my, my heart leapt when I saw her. <laughs> Hi, Jack. I was so happy to see her, I wanted to cry. Oh, Grace. Do you... What? Oh, yes. Good, good. We'd started seeing each other in secret five days ago. Oh, but Anna, oh. I knew how long exactly. I had started counting the days again. That big cloud of confusion in my brain was gone. I wasn't Anna's dog anymore. It was Anna's own fault. What else could she expect, having me dig around my past like that? That's exactly what I was thinking. She really shouldn't have done that. But it was scary how close I'd come to letting go. If things were a bit different, I might have kept on being a half-mute idiot forever. And I, and I would have let Grace and... And I never would have let Grace inside. When I first heard Grace's voice again, I thought I'd finally snapped. I thought I was hallucinating. But I opened the door, and there she was. Oh, yay. Grace? Grace, I'm... I'm so happy to see you. I thought... After your message, I thought I'd never... Don't say that. Don't say anything. Just for a minute. Oh. oh, do you see the tears in her eyes? Oh, my heart. I can't take this. <laughs> we put our arms around each other. We'd only been apart for weeks, for a few weeks, but so many things had happened that it felt like years. I knew it. You don't hate me. I didn't know what she was talking about, and I didn't really care. 
One thing, only one thing mattered right now. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I'd been working up the courage to leave ever since I had become myself again. Ooh, that's a dangerous game to play. As stupid as it seemed, I was afraid of going outside. But with Grace here, I could leave. I could do anything. Oh, that's so sweet. We can't. Huh? You're not going to leave here. What? Not yet. Why not? Do you have any idea what it's like for me in here? I can't imagine, Jack. And I'm so, so sorry I didn't believe you. You knew how dangerous Anna was right from the start. Yeah, that's right. You should have listened to me. That's all the more reason to get... Oh, sorry. That's all the more reason to get the hell away. I told you. Not yet. She has a knife. This isn't something we can run away from. I so wish we could just pack up and leave, but... Anna is going to follow us wherever we go. That's true. Damn it! <laughs> I stomped on the ground like an angry child. Grace was right. Anna had followed me here. If we left now, she'd do it again. We have to report her to the... No, Jack. No police. Why, though? They'd trust her first a million times over. Why? I guess they would... Why? <laughs> Besides... I wasn't even sure if she'd done anything actually illegal. She threatened Grace with a knife. How's that for illegal? But what then? What do we do? I don't know. <sighs> Why is this happening to us? Even as we talked, we kept our ears to the hallway. Though we both knew Anna was at work, the slightest echo of a footstep was a foot <laughs> the slightest echo of a footstep was enough to make us jump. Why can't she just leave us alone? What does she even want from you? She wants me to remember. I think I might have a clue. Oh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Grace about how Anna was trying to make me remember stuff from years ago. But it was so long ago. Yeah, but Yandere's get attached, like, a lot. Anything, anything could have made her obsessed with me. Jack. What? I'm sorry to say this. I know you always hated it when I did. What is it? I had a good feeling what she'd say. I didn't like it. You really do have to remember. Oh. I pinched the bridge of my nose. There was a big headache coming on right behind the eyes. Oh dear. I know. We can't win against her like this. Not when she knows so much more than we do. Well, how exactly do you plan to win, though? I know, alright. Do you think you can do it? I don't want to do it, but I think I can. I've never tried, not seriously, not since those first few days. Good, please do try. Oh, I smile. Oh, I've missed you, Grace. <laughs> and thank you for not giving in, Jack. I know it must be hard. Do you need anything from the outside? I could sneak something in. A bigger sandwich. Anna thinks I'm getting fat. I don't have a lot, but... No, I don't need anything. Anna keeps me well fed. I put as much contempt as I could into those words. But she was calling you fat. I don't think she's keeping you well fed. <laughs> Maybe that was the point. Are you doing alright though? You don't have any money, do you? I think Anna's got some stash somewhere around here. You think she won't notice? Grace refused. We can't risk her noticing. Exactly what I was saying. That's my girl. Oh, you're so sweet. And besides, I'm doing okay. I'm staying with a friend. They're a big help. Oh? Who is this friend you speak of? Alright then, oh, okay. <laughs> so, she'd landed on her feet. Well, it made me happy to hear that. Okay, so this is when Anna does something, right? The, the, the plot's coming back. I'm back on track now. <laughs> I'll be going now, Jack. What? Already? Anna won't be home for hours. She's not supposed to. We've got to be careful. And being here at all is making me so nervous I could die. You're right. Besides, we'll have plenty of time to spend together once this is over. We'll have our whole lives together. Yeah. Just us two. We looked at each other lovingly. Oh, shit. Oh, that, that made my heart drop, then a door slammed shut somewhere in the building. I really need to go. Bye, Jack.
Bye, Grace. I love you. Uh. I had wondered if it was still okay for me to tell Grace I loved her, but the words went and said themselves. Me too. Grace stood on her tiptoes to kiss me on the cheek. Oh. Oh. I love you too. Oh. I'm sorry, Anna, but, but Grace. <laughs> Locking the door after her was one of the most difficult things I had ever done. But seeing her had given, had given me the courage I needed. I felt I could do anything. Yes. And now here we are. Five days later, two secret meetings later, I couldn't go on. Grace, I'm sorry. You can't stay here anymore? I really, really can't. I'm at my limit. No, I'm way past my limit. I'm surprised I've still got it together. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. You're saying baby like that. I don't know, it doesn't really suit it, but... Maybe that's just me. I'm not one for nicknames, really. <laughs> Have you made any progress? It was an echo of Anna's constant questioning. Yeah, especially the way she said baby like that. Like, that's a very Anna thing. But Grace wasn't doing it on purpose, I told myself. I kept my anger in check. No, nothing. I can't remember anything from that time. It's like one big blind spot. I really love this music, too. I can't do it. It's hopeless. If you say it's really hopeless, then I guess it's no use at all. You said the same thing last time, too, but I still made you try. It's my fault you're in so much pain. It's not your fault. It's hers. I mean, Grace did kind of leave, and now we've realized that was her own doing. That still upsets me, to be honest. I heaved a sigh. I need to pack a few things. Wait here. I'll be ready in five. That's a no again. What? You can't mean... I want you to stay here, Jack. There's no way I can. Just a little bit more, I promise. She came up to me and felt my upper arms. You're so thin now. But you could still hold her down, right? What are you implying? A chill went over me. What do you mean? Aren't we running away? We can't run away. She'll find us again, and then what? I can't live like that, always afraid. I'm sure you can't either. So you're going to... No, she couldn't... No, not my Grace, she would not... No! Grace whispered a yes. No! See? Him do! It's wrong. Plain wrong. Yeah, it is. But what else is there to do? She's backed us into a corner. It's practically self-defense. No, you'll make Mert Mert cry. <laughs> you'll make me cry. <laughs> I... I guess if you look at that way... No! Exactly, No! Absolutely not. My head pounded at the temples. I'm so happy you agree. I so wish we could do it today, but I need to prepare. Can you stand being here until tomorrow evening? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I don't know that I could hold Anna down, to be honest. She's... Yonder is a strong. <laughs> tomorrow... Tomorrow, Anna has a morning shift, and she'll be back early afternoon. Let's go for six o'clock. Don't, don't say that so casually. <laughs> okay? Okay. Jeez. D stop smiling about this, please. Six o'clock. Please have her... <laughs> ah! No! <laughs> no! No! Immobilized how? I was already swept up in this plan. I didn't think twice about what Grace said anymore. The more immobilized, the better. That's that's a much better face. If you just sat on her, that'd be alright, I guess. But tying her down would be a big help. How do you suppose I'd do that? And if you could knock her out, that would be amazing. S stop speaking like that. I'll see what I can do. No, you're my sweet grace. Stop. Thank you. I'll be outside in the hallway. When she's all tied up, or passed out, or whatever... Shout out so I know it's safe, okay? Alright. And then, what will you do then? <laughs> to answer, Grace took out a small knife from her pocket. No! She turned it in her hand a few times. Like, I know she threatened you, but... Grace, no. 
Only then did I realise the full weight of what she would do. And only then did I realise how she didn't seem bothered by it. Yeah, now you realise. Grace, what happened? <sighs> it was a mess. What do you mean? This isn't like you. Yeah, the Grace I know. I hesitated. I'm gonna cry. What did Anna do to you? Grace's good mood seemed to evaporate. I hate to say good, but good. <laughs> she pressed her face against my chest. She did a lot. She... I felt like I was dirt. And I promised myself that would never happen again. The knife was still in her hand. It looked so sharp. She took you from me too. That's the only thing I really can't forgive. Imagine how happy we'd be if she never existed. I don't talk like that, though. I put my arms around her. Anna's deep down really sweet. I mean, like, I understand, but... Hard to hate a yandere. I get it. Then let me do it. Give me the knife. I don't want to see you do this. Maybe I'll be... Maybe I'll be able to work something out, I thought. Maybe it won't have to lead to bloodshed. I hated the sight of blood. <laughs> yeah. Good way to reason it. I'm sorry, Jack. This is something I have to do. No, it's not just that. The truth is I want to do it myself. It's like nothing will ever feel right again if I, if I don't do it. Grace put a hand on my chin. I leaned in closer. But she stopped me before we kissed. I love you, Jack. I love you too. But don't do this. Her skin felt hot. She was giving off heat like a furnace. Are you scared? Yeah. Please don't be... Please don't smile. You're the one that's scaring me. One day, we'll look back on this at last... I really hope we don't. This... You should not be looking back on this and laughing... No matter what. No. That's not okay. <laughs> no. Okay, back at the hospital. I wake up with a bitter taste in my mouth. Please tell me that was just a dream. One day we'll look back and laugh. No, we fucking won't. I'm sure as hell not laughing now. Yeah, neither am I. That's a good thought to have. What the? Oh, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, it is Anna, okay. You should laugh as much as you can, you know? It helps reduce stress. It's hard to find things funny with you around. Do you have to come here so often? I see more than enough of you in my dreams. She'll probably take that as a sweet thing, but like, should you really be talking to her like this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the situation at the hospital anymore. I'm so lost. <laughs> That long, shameful month I spent with her keeps coming to me while I, s while I sleep. It's souring my mood. I can't even pretend to- I can't even pretend around Anna anymore. Right. That's fair. Maybe I should write about it in the journal, after all. No, screw that. It'd be too embarrassing to write down. Jack, that's so sweet. Yup. Sure. <laughs> huh? What is? So you dream about me? So I knew she'd take it this way. <laughs> I have dreams about you too. Every night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but mine are nightmares. Looks like someone's cranky from having just woken up. You better not be rude to your doctor though. He's not as nice as I am. Yeah, he has no face. He might kick you out if you misbehave. I've seen him do that. You can't kick people out of a hospital. That's fine. I might be happier out on the street. Yeah, maybe. Ah, blurry face! Good to ah! <laughs> and we got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dramatic Reading music back again. <laughs> uh, here we go, here we go. The doctor comes along soon enough. He has a few... He has a few good news? He has good news for me, to, he says. It's looking good, Mr. Friday. Far better than before. Your blood pressure's fine, and the other things too. That's great news, Doctor. My attention is split between what he's saying and what I see in his coat pocket. What do you see? The words are in the way, so I- Oop, it's glinting. Is it a pen? Could be a scalpel. 
No, it's not a pen. It's something else. Yeah, but he is a doctor, I remember. He's, he's a doctor. Calm down. My heart beats faster. Thankfully, I remember to ask an important question. So, when can I... Leave? Yeah. When are you going to release me? The doctor scratches his fuzzy head, then counts on his fingers. Wednesday, next week. Next week? Yes. Wow, thanks, doctor. You're welcome. It's way earlier than I'd expected. I'd, I'd prepared myself for being here a few more weeks. Thank you so, so much. Here. I put out a hand for him to shake. Put her there! After a second, he takes it. I pull him closer. He stumbles, nearly sprawling across my bed. He's try, trying to, trying to, trying to get, in, get in bed with him? It's a very sloppy handshake. Sorry, doctor. My bad. Okay, so I'm just editing right now, and I just wanted to interject because I think I worked something out. I think this handshake that Jack has just given the doctor was a way for Jack to steal whatever was in his pocket, which I'm guessing is some sort of scalpel or something. Uh, I guess we'll find out. He coughs. Ah, it's fine. You've really helped me. A lot. All in a day's work. So yes, next week. And then you've got rehab. Hmm? Rehab, Doc? <laughs> Pardon? Oh, yes. After you leave here, it's straight to the physical rehab facility for you. Anna's looking sad, so I'm guessing that means she won't be there. We don't have an... an uh, we don't have an impatient facility here, but there is a great one on the other side of town. An impatient facility? <laughs> is that another typo? I'm sending you there. I'm not... I'm not going home? No, of course not. You'd end up hurting yourself, or with a limp. Is that what you want? No, 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 that won't do. That won't do at all. He jots down some notes, so it was a pin. Wednesday, that's in four days. The nurses have been exercising you, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, they what? Huh? Exercising me? They haven't? You don't, Sir Anna. Uh-oh. What's this about, nurse? Excuse me? You should have been giving him some mild exercise. Well? Uh, you never told us that, Doctor. Can't you tell by yourself? The Doctor starts mumbling to himself while making more notes. Ooh, shivers. Jeez. I really have to do everything myself here, don't I? No, no, that's fine. Not like you're paid to do these things or anything. <laughs> I've missed you, Doctor. And how long will I stay there, Doctor? He raises his hands as if giving up on me. <laughs> It's always that with you, isn't it? Look, how long you'll stay at the facility is up to the people there. I can't tell you that. But don't hold your breath. I let out a laugh. Man, you're really going to milk me dry, aren't you? I bet you've got a deal with the people over there, Doctor. Don't you know I'm poor as hell? He makes a grave face. He doesn't have a face, but I can tell that it's grave deep down inside. The thought never crossed my mind. I live only to help people like yourself, Mr. Friday, so I don't appreciate hearing such accusations. It was a joke, man. Calm down, take a chill pill. I'd like to be more careful. I'd like you to be more careful about what you say. Understood? Uh, understood. Good. <laughs> uh, bye, Doctor. You you are my new waifu, Doctor. I'm pretty sure you're a boy, but even so. When he rushes off, never shoes creaking. <laughs> Well then, Anna grabs hold of my right leg, the one that isn't broken. Hey, what do you think you're do- She's not gonna- No, 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 no. It's exercise. Okay. You remember what the doctor said, don't you? Uh, right. Thought she was gonna break my leg and keep me there for longer. Well, I suppose it's fine. She brings my knee up to my chest. The joints in my leg pop. It's stiff. I haven't used it in a long time. How is it? Any pain? No. A little sore, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. She brings my leg back down. Wait, did he say a little sore, but doesn't hurt? I don't know about his definition, but I'm pretty sure sore does mean hurt. Alright. I'll keep going then, if you don't mind. Keep going as you please. 
She repeats the whole motion ever so gently. Oh, I bet you're loving this. This is, you know, this, she's really sweet. She's really sweet. If this will help me start walking faster, I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. Her hands are on me. When she helps me fold my leg up, her neck is so close I could... How do you feel about what the doctor said? Hmm? What did he say? That I'm out of here by next week. Oh. That I'm out of here by next week! I whisper so the other patients can't hear. How does that make you feel? Are you angry? Anna's smile doesn't break, but her fingers press against me more forcefully. <laughs> I'm not angry, of course. It's nice that you're getting better. Oh yeah? And I'll still visit you at the facility. I'm sure you will. Oh, but what if they're very strict about visiting hours? That'd be a bummer, wouldn't it? Are you trying to make her mad? Stop! <laughs> For the first time in so long, I feel like I have the upper hand. It's going to my head, yeah I can tell. And who knows? Maybe I'll tell them I don't want any visitors. To focus on your... to focus on... Uh, bleh, bleh. To focus on your recovery? Yeah, of course. That's good. I want you healthy, darling. <clears throat> Stop being so sweet and lovable. She stops exercising the mid motion. Me mid. She stops exercising me mid motion. I can wait. How long do you think I've w waited before? I'm a patient girl. Oh. Her fingers find their way up my inner leg. Oh my. I can wait. No problem. Because after this is done, you'll be mine again. All oh, mine. Forever. I grab her by the wrist. My fingernails dig into her skin. Ouch. You're hurting me. <laughs> she is into that. Shut up. How come? What makes you so... I'm... I'm never living with you again. You know that. Oh, sweetie. You'll do as I say. <sighs> Of course. You still have grace. Well, yes, that's one reason. But there's one much dearer to my heart. Do you know what that is? I glare back. It's that you love me. Do I? I don't. I kinda do. You do. <laughs> you love me even if you don't know you love me. Okay. Deep down, you love me more than anything in the world. Just like I love you. But you've spent so long living all these lies that you've started believing them yourself. Don't worry, though. I'll help you remember all over again. She finally lets go of me. I thought you were holding her, but okay. Get plenty of rest. You have a lot ahead of you. Oh. She goes away, leaving me to myself and to my broken body. That night, I dream of how I got to be like this. That- ooh, ooh, finally! Yes, I've been waiting for this, okay. Ooh, chapter 7, no! <laughs> uh, we're already at 30 minutes. And my computer's running low on storage. Uh, okay, alright, alright. We'll save. We'll wait for next time. I'm sorry, but we have to do it running out of time. Oh my goodness, wow. That chapter, though. Okay, so I'm back on track, but... Oh my goodness, I don't even know what to say. Grace, why are you, why are you doing this? I'm just... Okay, what happened to Grace? How did he get like this? We're gonna find out next time. That's really exciting. And... Oh, I'm so upset just by Grace, how she acted about killing Anna. Like, that's not okay. I don't want to kill Anna anymore. <laughs> I don't believe she's a demon. And I know and I know, a lot of you watching are watching for Anna, <laughs> and you love Anna. So, if given the choice, I will not kill her. I don't want to kill her either. I, I love her as well, but I'm afraid Grace is my girl. For now, unless she's still crazy, I don't even know anymore. I am just so lost. I am so lost. So, yep. If you're as lost as I am, then subscribe so we can find out together what happens next time. And until then, see ya.